Hello, my wonderful subscribers. I'm back. So you might be wondering, what the hell was I doing for the past month? Well, if you have seen my last upload, you you would probably know that I had an exam week. But I wasn't just gone for a week. I was gone for like a whole month. And、uh, I'll tell you exactly what happened. It's not really that much. As the biggest thing is just the exam. But other than that, I think I was just not really in the mood for uploading. So first of all, because of the exam week, I wasn't really in the mood to work on Froggle Plus. Like it really gets in the way with my creative workflow and my motivations. But not working on something also just feels plain weird for me. So I decided to try out Pico Eight. And for those of you who don't know,、uh, Pico Eight is like an, another game engine. Basically, I'm not gonna get into the details of Pico Eight. Uh, but uh, I was able to make a full game, full fledged game on Pico Eight during uh this past months, and it has been. A pretty interesting experience working on a game in Pico Eight, to say the least. And I gotta say, I will definitely do that again. And、uh, if anyone is interested in this little Pico Eight game, I will put the link in the description, and you can go try it out.、Uh, this game is short, and it will not take you for longer than twenty minutes. If you're not stuck at it. <laughs> anyway,、uh, as I said in my last community post, I was gonna make. A video detailing the development of this Pico Eight game, but that ended up did not happen because. So what happened was our language teacher decided to give us an assignment project, and it was a video that we had to make, and I was I happened to be the person with、uh, the most editing knowledge, so、uh, I kind of had to do the editing, and I wasn't able to work on.、Uh, My own project. It's not that I wasn't able to work on it. It's more that I don't want to work on too many things at the same time. So that Pico A video ended up didn't happen. And、uh, this video could be, I could actually spend my time right now recording the Pico A video. But、uh, since I got back to working on Froggle Plus recently, I'm right now not really in the mood to talk about Pico A. So. Uh nope. Uh, this project probably just not gonna happen. <laughs> not anytime soon, I think. But yeah. Uh, this past month I was also very active on my Twitter account, which is pretty surprising. Since uh, Twitter never really worked for me for the past three years of working on Fraggle Swing and Grapple, but uh, only up until recently when I started working on Fraggle Plus, uh, my tweets. Develop tweets have、uh, been starting to get some traffic, which is pretty cool. And <laughs> I did not really expect that to happen, but I kind of just went along with it and started to post up on my account、uh, way more regularly. And yeah, it has been getting more traffic, and especially during the period when I was working on、uh, the Pico A game. Oh boy, you did not, you would not believe this when I say. Pico, the Pico A game gave me a lot of traffic. Those Pico A game develop tweets are the ones that I got the most traffic from during the past months. It's not that I didn't get any from my Froggle Plus project, but damn, holy damn. Anyway, so yeah, I do have a Twitter account, and if you're interested, you can、uh, follow me on it if you want to get like more、uh, regular updates on the game. I think I will still post the blog on YouTube. I will try my best to stay on schedule, but Twitter, you will、uh, more likely to get more info about the game. Anyway, enough about enough fuss about non-Froggle Plus related stuff because this is a Froggle Plus devlog after all. So I'm gonna spend the last few minutes talk about、uh, progress updates. So、uh, the last time I have. Done any progress updates on this channel is the level editor, which I had a lot of fun using. I'm gonna say、uh, that was a really nice investment. But、uh, what I am up doing wasn't really making levels. I did make some really nice mockups, 
for like what the future levels are gonna look like aesthetically but I never went ahead and design levels because uh, I don't feel like it's time to make them yet I'm still in the process of uh, making up uh, game objects and like enemies and stuff uh, the most recent one is this track objects so you can see these moving platforms that uh, moves along the track and these grabby hands I also added this uh, ferris wheel platform things like I feel like if you are making a platformer game I feel like this is a must <laughs> not really but like I feel like I've seen this a lot in platformer games so I feel like it would be a fun addition if I want to make any levels so that's why I ended up doing aside from that I also added Jim Jim the Menace uh, so you have all these enemies that can be eaten wait I think I talked about this before but uh, at the end of the day you're gonna make some enemies that can kind of counter the player's ability so that's exactly why I added Jim back to the game. Fun fact, Jim was actually the first ever kind of enemy I added to the Fraggle games. The first one was in Fraggle's Adventure and uh, I did not know how to program uh, an enemy that walks around. So I decided to just add Jim that just jumps repeatedly in the same position. But uh, right now he's in the game but he's able to walk around. And the thing is, he's mostly invincible. Uh, you, if you hit him, you try to attack him with a projectile, he will he will start to roll around. And if you try to tongue him, you will get hurt. So basically, he's a menace. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much everything over the progress update I would like to talk about. Uh, I feel like this is all the time I have for today, and I feel like there's just a few more stuff. Uh, plans I would like to talk about but I will have to leave that for the next video so I'll see you next time